put on the leg. Go ahead. What to say things? Yeah. Yeah. God, I miss you guys. Really miss you. And the sooner I get out of here, the better, and I'll come and see you. And uh, hopefully uh, that won't be too long. But you never know. But let me tell you, if there's any one thing I'm missing out there, it's you. Uh, and uh, I hope to make that up here soon. And uh, God is with us. God is in us. And uh, we're God's children. Yeah. What did you say about getting across? Oh, I, I, I may get across to wear on my neck. I always thought that was kind of honky. But uh, at, this, at this moment, I, I may get one. You know, I was telling Rebecca about it for my birthday. <laughs> Didn't you at one point think that you might die? Oh, I definitely thought I should have died. I thought he did. Yeah, I was close. Very, very close. And when you died. didn't, did you come to any conclusions? No, no, I had all kind of wild things going on in my brain. And and I was close to dying for, for quite, a, quite a while. So uh, it was a... Uh, it was a, 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 I don't know what you call it, but it was a rocky road. Yeah, a very rocky road. I, I went, uh, although I really believed I was going to die, and I believed I did die. I wasn't sure. Um, but I think I, I came, finally came to the conclusion I'm still alive. So that was I, that because of the pain? It was the pain and the, the unknownness of it all, you know, in... Your head's, uh, your head's all over the place. They give you big medications and and and, and stuff, and you're in you're in another place, and and the stuff that's happening to you there seems very real. You know, it it if you, it, it say this is real, but it isn't. It's so you have to go through all that. It's bizarre, absolutely bizarre. No. It's a crazy feeling to 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 uh, feel you're almost uh, that you died. That's a weird. But anyways, uh, we don't need to be afraid of dying. Not at all. I wasn't afraid at all. You know, I believe that God loved me and cared about me, and I loved God, and together we're called to love everyone. Yeah, so we ask that question again. <laughs> So you're not afraid of dying? No, no, you know, not at all. It was, it was, uh, you know, I, I... What did you decide? You were saying, God, you know that God loves you? Yes, I thought that takes care of that. You know, I that I don't have to sweat any of that stuff. Now I have to get about the business of am I alive or dead here? Or what am I going to do? You know, what's going to happen to me here? I, uh, I had to get through that. I don't know what... There's a lot of that I miss because probably they knocked me out. And, and, but uh, I don't know. Rebecca was there for sure. Um, but a lot of it was was tricky at best. I, you know, I was, we came came through some times when it was up for grabs whether I was going to make it or not. And uh, so it uh, you get got through them. Through it all, you realize that God still loves you. You still love God, and God loves everybody. Is that right? That's it. That's it. That's wow. it. That's it, Pa. It ain't any more complicated than that. That's it. No, I think that's who we are, what we are, and what it's about. And that's it, you know. And what does that mean? Again, it, God loves you, you love others. It means that you do kairos, you do stuff. You love the guy in the next cell. And it, it means you put it into practice, yeah. And here I am, you know, alive, which means that hopefully I can put it into practice uh, things that uh, where I care for people, yeah. So I'm looking, it'll be interesting to see what I'm up to. Well, what I'm is, baby, I'll be back. You can count on that. And where are you? I I am at uh, Bambi, uh, the hospital. Bambi. 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 Uh, 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 Army Medical Center. Like Army Medical Center. <coughs> I came here by helicopter from Kerrville uh, to the trauma center, to the trauma center, yeah. Uh, and and they've been keeping me alive and I'm best. And how many times do you think I've been operated on? 18. 18 times. 18 or 20. <laughs> but when I first came, I was in intensive care for like 16 days. 
and uh, then they moved me around. Okay. But uh, you said something about that. There's a team here that's focused on keeping you alive. Yes, uh, I, I talked to one of the doctors. Talked to another doctor, and he said that this team is committed to keeping Bruce alive. Boy, and I like that. That's they must know you visit prison, I guess. I will go. <laughs> hey, man. Let me tell you, we are all called, and uh, you know we we feel we're called to be there at the prison. And that's the name of the game for me. It's redemptive. I don't, you know, I don't think these doctors are all religious or know what they're doing, but let me tell you, they're doing redemptive work. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. They are the means of grace. It's it's grace. Uh, but let me tell you, it's tricky at best. That doesn't give you any guarantee. You know, you can die them. You know. You need to do what you need to do, uh, which is what you're good at and do it. And God, what they did was miraculous, that's all I can say. Now, I don't know what that means. Uh, it's a mystery. But whatever they did, they did it well. They did it good. They did it together. And here I am, 82 years old, getting ready to go out and do it. Uh, it's going to take a while for me to get to be able to walk with my left leg, but I have every intention of doing that. But you have a left leg. That's right. What? You have one. You do have a left leg. I have a left leg, and it, uh, there's, it, it, it has circulation. So I'm, uh, I'm up today. The guys are here. Yeah. So we're here. That's... Listen, listen, love, love. <laughs> right. Listen, listen, love, love. That's the ticket.